Hey, good morning everyone. A quick video, a couple of things I want to cover. This little Optima, how well does it go running a fridge overnight? Remembering it is a sacrificial battery, either a dual battery in a dual battery setup or an independent battery, which can be run down <clears throat> right now. We can hear the compressor on the fridge running, which is great. Fridge is set on three, to, oh, it's set on lower, that's why it's went set on one degree all night got stuff in there your typical sort of setup bit dark there the light's not on you get that you want the there light. you go the light works better doesn't it all right so a couple things we want to have a look at this is going to be running for a few minutes i reckon to get it down to one so we've got a bit of time i've sort of i said the wrong thing as soon as i say it sometimes i realize i said the wrong thing now under load remember with the compressor running under load battery voltage on 12.1 that's not bad for overnight keeping a fridge down to that temperature under load when the compressor cuts off it's probably going to recover to 12.4 12.5 who knows if we run the video long enough we'll see but i'm not planning to i did give some information which i believe is wrong and i said oh because i'm just quick thinking quick talk you know talk think quick think quick think quick talk 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 and i said don't switch that switch off you want to plug in your solar regulator to your battery and your solar panel after your battery is connected to the regulator disconnect your solar then disconnect your battery if you disconnect and i said don't turn off that switch because i automatically thought the switch will isolate the whole box but i know it doesn't so the outlet terminals on the back they're not fused i believe the anson plugs are fused so there's a direct terminal there like say you want to connect you know your battery charger terminal so you can just plug it in because you want another way to charge it not that you would need to unless you're parking inside in uh, out of the sun like we are here bit of morning sunshine in the roller door but the solar system it's not going to be uh it's not going to be pumping anything at the moment that's for sure um we won't bother going into the app but 12.1 if i talk long enough this will drop down or what i'll do i'll change your fridge setting in a minute then we can make the video short so what i want to do now these cars are that big you can't even reach everything just about all right so i've turned it off We'll see what it isolates. This is still flashing. Well, you can't see that with a light on, but it's it's flashing bulk waiting to come out into the sun. The fridge is still running. So this confirms, because the fridge is plugged into the Anderson plug. So the rear terminals are not fused. The Anderson plugs are not switch offable. So the back of the box is always on and part of it not fused. This switch will just isolate your USBs, which are in there with the voltmeter. Right. Oh, it was even on 12.2. That's pretty good. Or 12, was it? One or the other. Anyway, let's change this fridge so I don't have to waffle too much. Set temperature we want it to go up so the compressor cuts off. Compressor's cut off. Back to 12.2 so far. If we hung around and talk long enough, It'll be 12.3, 12.4, something like that. This is not to worry about. This is exactly what a dual battery is for. It has run the battery down overnight. It's been running the fridge over 12 hours. Um, how long since it's been parked? We're talking 15, 16 hours. Got parked at, actually it was about lunchtime. Sorry. So let me give you the right info. It was a, probably about, my best estimate, 2 p.m. The car got parked in the shade. So no sun. So if you're out camping, you're going to be in the sun till the end of the day. It just hit 12.3 momentarily there it isn't slowly coming back as suspected that'll be what it is two o'clock in the afternoon it's now eight o'clock in the morning so you do the sums and tell me how many hours that is um, we're consistent on 12.3 now might get back to 12.4 so that'll just recover a little bit so the switch don't worry about switching that on and off if you switch that off it'll save some power because these little voltmeters they do use power as well so switch it off when it's not in use Leave this connected well. That's going to use a little bit of power as well. Probably not as much, but it's going to use a little bit because see, it's powered up. It's got a light flashing every now and then that you can't see looking for what it's going to get. Anyway, just a quick video to explain a couple of things because I love to give you the right info. And I realized as soon as I said it, I went, I oh, don't switch on. Oh, hang on a minute. Da -da 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 -da. We're direct to the battery by going into those Anderson plugs at the other end, right? So watch the other videos. If you missed them, bada bing, bada boom. It's an old 2019 Optima D34 blue top, the marine. It's the same as a yellow, except it's got the extra terminals. Awesome battery box. Check the info in the other videos. I'll chuck this one on the playlist as well. The wire, everything is looking good there. Bloody beautiful. We'll slide him back in. 
still 12 3 I was just waffling a little bit and uh, lock that in. Look at that, beautiful, right? So, bada bing, baby. Point is, battery's fine. If this car was parked out in the sun like it was on a trip, it'd already be getting some charge. I'm tempted, actually. I might just move it out there and show you how quick it comes up. It's just ridiculous. Heck, let's leave it for a few more hours, flatten it a bit more, and then we'll put it out there and see how fast it recovers. You're going to love it. I think I'm going to love it more, though, right? So we're ballpark about 20 hours later. This voltmeter says 12.2, but in actual fact, closer to 12.3 as suspected. 20 hours, fridge is on zero, everything's nice and cold. Maybe these aren't that efficient. It's a 2019 55 AH Optima, and that's what I said, it's all you need. Just subscribe, turn the bell on, save yourself some money. Look, I promise you this, if you watch my videos and listen to the end, you're going to be better off for it. You're going to be better off, whether it's better on money, better setups, more reliable vehicles, or just other decisions that you'll learn to save your money, right? This is parked in the shade, right? That's what's showing zero watt, right? Let's get out in the sun, and then I'll go for a walk for half an hour, or go for a ride, and we'll come back and we'll see what it's up to. It's going to be out of control. Okay, Dax, so we're out in the sunlight. You can see it's 10.39 a.m., um... 148 watts off that panel at the moment. It's pumping it in slowly. 2.4 amp current voltage, 13.4, 10, 10 amps, sorry, yeah. Don't, uh, careful what you read, confusing. But anyway, 10 amps would be what's going in from 148 watt, that's about right. Bloody beautiful, right? See, on bulk, anyway. Let's uh, let it sit for half an hour. I'm going for a walk or a ride. I haven't decided yet. We'll come back and have a look and see what happened and where it's at. But I'm tipping it's going to recover really well in about an hour, ready to be parked for another 20 hours. Even if it was cloudy, a few hours, be taken care of. A bit loose here. Okay, I went for a quick ride, 10 Ks. It's just about 11 a.m. now. Right, it's pumping one... Uh, 160 watt, still on bulk, that's good. Must have run the batteries down a bit. Let's have a look, 11 amps, for those that care. 13 volts, all right, so it's working on it. All right, let's go pack a couple more kits and we'll come out and check it soon. I just want to point out, I'm under the veranda at the back of the car, the sun's on a big angle, it's just there, right? So it's not straight up, it's massive angle. Okay, let's just switch to absorption literally just switched so it's 11 35 so what about an hour to bulk it up um, what you got to allow for here like i said the angle of the sun the heat in the panel now that it's been out for a while that's why you're only seeing 106 watt seven amps going in and that's off a 400 watt panel so imagine how much lower it would be uh, if you had a smaller panel and that's why this will get the job done that's why i made this choice if i'm going to go independent without an alternator and I can get my hands on these cheap five-year-old you know house domestic solar panels anyway 14.6 volts it's on absorption now let's see how long that lasts and butter bing butter boom baby okie dokes that's this float it's gonna float this is gonna slowly drop down the 23 watts <coughs> this is gonna hold around 13.8 volts <coughs> Excuse me. Only 1.6 amps going at the moment because that's controlled as required. So, 12.08 p.m., so less than two hours, and this battery is back to float stage. How good's that? Bloody awesome. Catch you in the next video. See ya.